Cyberpunk 2077 gets another big update here with FSR 2.1 implemented. However, the base game also has a lot of improvements, so can you tell the difference between these two images? One has FSR 2.1 turned on, the other one is no FSR at all. There's quite a difference between these images if you're looking on a bigger screen. And if you didn't tell, the one on the left is actually the one with no FSR at all. So let's have a look at some full screen gameplay here with FSR 2 enabled. The FSR 2 version here is running the recommended Steam Deck settings which auto enables FSR 2.1 but I have put the FSR on to quality because we're frame locking it at 30. It can't really hold more than 40 in most situations anyway so frame locking it to 30 is going to give you a much better situation here. And I did turn off the motion blur for the FSR as well. As we come back over to the no FSR again frame locked at 30 on pretty much all low settings you can see it a little bit of difference here on the quality but still frame locking at that 30 frames per second. No matter which way you look at it, compared to the original FSR 1 implementation which you can see here, it's a massive improvement. Look how bad the frame time was and it wasn't even holding 30 frames per second with quality mode on FSR 1.0. So no matter which way you look at this, the improvements in this game from the previous version is absolutely huge. But I am not a huge fan of FSR 2 overall because look at the left image here, no FSR on the base game in this update is still looking absolutely crystal clear. And again, if we look at some of the scenery here, there's not a lot of difference here, but when you're moving around, there is some granularity that you'll see in the images on the FSR mode. So if we look at a static image here, the FSR, there really isn't a lot to it when you're not moving around. And if I splice the two down the middle, you'll be really hard pressed to see the difference between the two here. So similar settings, but one with the FSR on there. What I do want to draw your attention to though, is if you do have FSR off completely, and if I set this to the low settings, turn the fidelity super res completely off, keep motion blur off, leave all the other settings at the default low, except for the very last setting here of the level of detail, and put this up to high, Keeping the 30 frames per second frame cap will keep this extremely steady, but I just wanted to show you what this looks like without the frame cap. So no FSR at all with those low settings and high level of detail. You can see that we do bounce between 30 and 40. So there's been immense improvements in the base game of Cyberpunk. So running this on Steam Deck without FSR at all actually is an absolute joy to play now so if you frame lock this 30 you will get the occasional dip in some of the loading sections but even in middle of town with fights and loads of other stuff going on you will hold 30 to 40 frames per second and if you frame lock it to 30 it will just be rock solid so i do think that fsr still brings in a bit too much graininess and does ruin some of the immersiveness in the game so personally i am actually preparing to frame lock this at 30 and not run the FSR. So let us know in the comments below what your preference is and what differences you have seen here. But whatever way you look at it, this update has made huge improvements to Cyberpunk on Steam Deck. So it's definitely one that I want to dive back into and do some more of those side missions. As I've been at the end game for quite some time. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and if you haven't already, please think about subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.